I was surprised that so many people like wanted to bet it right away and wanted to bet Boston. And I'm much more like, I kind of want to just see it play game to game and just like see what happens. Basically. I I, I'm much less inclined to be like, Nope, Boston, this is a mistake. Like, Nope, Boston easily. Like I, nah, (laughs) like that's not this. (laughs) Like it's just, it's not in my opinion, at least it's not this. So um, I I, I know some of that was the prices, but that's just kind of how I come down. Just take it game by game here a little bit. I understand your thought process of can they revert back to what we saw earlier in the year, and that that's certainly possible. What's really made this Celtics team better than where they were at the beginning of the year, though, started with how they just buckled down defensively, where they were a locked down, just unbeatable team defensively, and then it helped just settle everything else in for this team on the other side of the ball. I know they still play some ISO. When you have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, there's going to be some ISO. This is the NBA. Like we talk about all these teams moving the ball and stuff, but like the reality of it is if you have great scores, there will be times where you put the ball in their hands and you say, go get us a bucket, get me buckets now. And you've got guys that can do that. So do the nets. The difference is, is that the nets can't defend anybody and the Sixers can. So, or the, the Celtics can. So even if this becomes a situation where it comes down to, okay, they're generally even offensively, right? Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are having a great series. They're moving the ball well. This team, is in, they're in sync offensively. Well, so are the Nets. Kyrie and Kevin Durant, they're each combining for like 70 points a game, 65, whatever. The difference then comes down to who's the better team defensively, who can disrupt the other side's offense and that's where I'm going with Boston there. I know they don't have Robert Williams, which is certainly a detriment. But you know what they have? They got Marcus They got Marcus Smart. And Marcus Smart can go lock down anybody. And he is big, and he's tough, and he's strong, and he's a great defensive player. And he's not the only one. Jason Tatum's a pretty good defensive player, too. Like, he's, he's a two-way player. But the advantage with the Celtics is that they are so good defensively that even if shots aren't falling a little bit, if they can continue to have the defensive effort that they've gotten from the second half of the year here they can win this series just because of that and disrupt the nets who are by far the most iso heavy team in the nba 